Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Beetle5, and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. Today, me and the ginger here Hello, are gonna react to the death battle of Bowser versus Ganon. Now, uh, what are your thoughts going into this death battle? Because when, when they say Ganon, they don't they don't say Ganon Dwarf. So I'm assuming that they're actually talking about the monster Ganon from like the original Zelda. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, I could. Uh, that might be also because. You can also have that, but then you can also have Ganondorf because he he transforms into Ganon. Okay, yeah. see, remember... see, Ginger knows a lot more about Legend of Zelda than I do. So no, yeah, yeah, because in Twilight Princess he transforms from Ganon. That, that's into Beast Ganon. Ganon. I think that's a different thing. But anyways, regardless, yeah. I th going into this battle, I think Bowser might win this fight simply because in all of the Zelda games, Ganondorf has actually been defeated and killed, and then gets resurrected in like every new game. While yeah. Bowser, on the ha other hand, just gets defeated and brazes it off and tries to do it. All over again. I just think Ganondorf has like more like he has he's smarter and he has more power probably. Also... I I I gonna go with my money just on Bowser's Wait, sure. Do, they, do you think they're gonna use the Triforce of Power or no? I think Ganondorf naturally uses the Triforce of Power. Let's uh let's start this video and find out. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start the video in three, two, one, go. Ever since the invention of princesses, there have been princess kidnappers. <laughs> and these two are certainly among the top tier in their trade. Bowser, the king of the Koopas. <coughs> and Ganon, the demon king. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death Ooh, battle. Ooh, 2D battle. <laughs> what digital form of Ganon is that? Once I mean, I, upon yeah. a time, I know about a giant turtle had a dream. He would conquer the Mushroom Kingdom by turning everyone in it into brick. Really? <laughs> one pesky princess had the gall to undo his mystical masonry. Naturally, King Bowser Koopa had only one sensible option. He snatched her up and locked her away in his castle. No, not that castle. That castle. <laughs> because what's a little nice. kidnapping when you've already morphed thousands of innocents into brick? With the princess, I've never heard of that theory. Bowser finally had it all yeah, I didn't know that. Until two pesky portly plumbers popped up out of nowhere and procured his petulant princess. Nice job on that alliteration. I'm surprised you know what alliteration means. <laughs> of course, my conspicuous co-host. Anyway, if there's one thing to say about Bowser, it's that he never gives up. He's always hatching a new scheme for domination with his army, and you know it's going to involve some princess pilfering. And not only is he tenacious, but he's also incredibly tough. Probably due to his natural turtliness. That's not a real word. Turtliness. But you are correct. Yeah. Bowser's seemingly indestructible shell can take an insane amount of abuse, as can the rest of him, really. Not only that, but his shell's great for doling out damage. Probably because of the impale a man sized spikes. Impale a man. Which he can shoot out of yeah. his shell like a goddamn cat. Oh, Mario RPG. Bowser also fights with his razor oh, yeah, sharp remember. teeth and claws, oh, and is capable of lifting and throwing massive amounts of weight. He could probably even lift your mother, Wiz. Oh, <laughs> oh shots yeah. fired. And he's also got a bunch of weapons to throw around. The like super hammers, shell. <laughs> spike balls, and mecha koopas. All from the safety of the happiest flying machine ever. The Koopa Clown Copter. <laughs> oh, the subspace emissary was a great Caesar story. Case. Yeah. <laughs> An impressive airborne vehicle which can somehow drop ammunition exactly the size of itself. <laughs> Probably via some kind of magic. <laughs> oh yeah, have we mentioned that this is a magic turtle? He can breathe fire like a dragon, shapeshift into anything, and even show its will to be as big as a castle. Which wow. Which is also a transformer. You think you can grow his? No, I don't want to think about it. Have you oh. seen a turtle penis? Oh! I haven't. Why have you? <laughs> Science. <laughs> anyway, with his size increase comes a tremendous boost in power. Not only can he fight a castle, he can pick the whole thing up and throw it. He's tough enough to survive lava of any temperature, even when it melts off his skin. He's what stood a point blank supernova and being sucked into a black hole multiple times. And consider a black hole is a complete compression of space and time which stretches anything apart, even light itself. Man, you'd think with all this awesome power, Bowser could take over the Mushroom Kingdom, like, no problem. 
Except he's an <laughs> idiot. He's constantly underestimating his oh, opponents. Super hard, super he builds four. traps in his castles, which always end up being used against him. And to top it all off, he's illiterate. <laughs> Still, with his incredible ferocity and brute force, it's no wonder Bowser strikes fear across the Mushroom Kingdom. Until they all get together for go karting or some tennis. <laughs> Take it from me, Boomstick. You can't always be the bad guy. Oh, Mario Tennis, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> they can't pull info out of the Mario Super Show. That's not yeah, fair. That's bullshit. The kingdom of Hyrule is full of hidden terrors. Giant spiders, a dragon who eats rock people, and that red-headed fairy with oh. bones that'll poke your eyes out and a laugh that can melt any erection. <laughs> but the most dangerous fiend of all is the Demon King, Ganon. Yeah, that's what he really looked like. However, before he became a giant blue pig demon, Ganon was actually just a man named Ganondorf. Yep. Ganondorf was raised in the Gerudo Desert as a student of yeah, magic theme. under the tutelage of the Twin <laughs> Robo Witches. But while the Gerudo have got some pretty kick-ass music, yeah. the the desert obviously wasn't the best because, you know, sand. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it's uh, all you fucking dead. <laughs> Unfortunately for Ganondorf and our viewers, his destiny would take him beyond the sand. <laughs> See, turns out he's the reincarnation of the demon Demise, who Demise. happens to be the root of all evil. Because what else would you grow up to be with a name like that? Demise is such an awesome villain. Sword. Yeah. Upon his defeat, Demise cursed the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero to be forever plagued by a physical embodiment of his rage. Wow, that's some hardcore shit. Talk about a sore loser. But for Ganondorf, being the Lord of Demons Reborn has its upsides, like being really good at magic. Among the numerous spells he knows, he can summon phantoms to fight alongside him, freeze enemies with waves of darkness, cast deadly curses, When has he ever fly, possessed the power of flight? And create orbs of electric energy which can stop foes in their tracks. And they mm. double as a deadly game of Pong. Ha! So he's a master swordsman, capable of wielding two blades at once oh, with I extreme miss Waker. efficiency. But being the king of all evil with awesome skills oh, wasn't enough. Oh, my Ganondorf grew jealous of Hyrule's prosperity and, like any good reincarnation of pure evil, wanted to take it for himself. Including the Triforce, a legendary relic said to grant the wish of any who may touch it. But when it was finally within his grasp, two of its pieces rejected him harder than Wiz's last date. However, ah. the, around, the Triforce of Power was kind of the best. It gave him near invulnerability, incredible strength, and unlimited mystical power. Except he dies a lot. It's only so. downside, <laughs> it's, or yeah, upside, depending on how you see it, is that it turned him into a giant demon pig. Oh. With this form came immense power and a new name, Ganon. And that's Beast Ganon. I think they're two yeah. different things. It's Ganon and Beast Ganon, which is from Twilight Princess. Everything's better with bacon. Now. Ganon is fast <laughs> enough to dodge arrows point blank without even looking. He's strong enough to destroy stone walls and pillars with no effort, and he's tough enough to get back up after having an entire castle fall on him. Ooh. But while the Triforce of Power supposedly grants him immortality, Ganon can still be slain, and is specifically vulnerable to holy weapons like the Master Sword. Though he has survived being impaled by one, and then killed his executioner with his bare hands. He's also extremely oh. arrogant, often underestimating his smaller, weaker opponents. At least until they drive a sword through his head. <laughs> but hey, when you're a titanic, dying, vulnerable pig sorcerer, you can afford to be a bit cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I had to play Wind Waker again. Oh, I love his laugh. <laughs> uh, it's really, really weird. <laughs> All right, okay, based on my current analysis now, I have to say I'm gonna go on Ganon's side here. Yeah, me too. Ganon. I think Ganon's gonna win this fight. Castle, so it's like... All right. I think Ganon's gonna win. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, see, I know this model of Bowser is from the Mario and Luigi series. Ooh, they got the Triforce of Power. Ooh. <laughs> I'm wondering though, I mean, which. I'm wondering what model of Ganondorf they pulled in this yeah. digital form out of. I wonder if they're gonna use his Ocarina time. No, that's a 3D model. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. See, I don't know where that model's from. Oh, Jesus. 
So far they're using his Ocarina of Time. Okay. Fine. Bowser, that's your throne! <laughs> Oh, down smash! Yeah. See how many Smash Brothers moves we can recognize. Yeah. Here. Oh boy. Uh. His victory tune from Smash. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know what oh, Japanese magical. symbol. I don't know what Japanese symbol that is. <laughs> oh. Oh man, so many collisions. Oh boy. Oh, Bowser's side smash! His drop kick! Yeah. Oh my god, it's the, it's the tennis court from Mario Power <laughs> Tennis! The Bowser's Castle theme, that's so cool! He's, he's, he's gonna fucking win! <laughs> Tennis <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so stupid. If you can just manipulate them, why can you play this game? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Teleportation. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, jokes on him though, because Bowser can survive lava. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna turn into giant? Dry Bowser, yeah. Oh, or or the Koopa Clown car could save him from the fall. <laughs> Are they on the bridge of Elden? Or is that just Bowser's castle, you think? Oh! Oh, Bowser went giant. Yep. Yeah. Which means Ganon's probably gonna go with his beast form. Oh. 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 He's oh. From like the original game. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's his original get pig form. Oh. Oh. The fucking eye. Jesus. Oh. No. No, uh, really? Him. Just ate him? That's it? No. Nope. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm I'm a little confused. Yes. yes. Cool, but. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> may have had Shrek the reference. In brute strength, but Ganon's deadlier magic and superior. I don't understand how he killed him. In the end, Ganon had his fair share of brawn as well. Yeah, but what really counts is his ability to form a strategy and plan of attack. Regardless of intelligence, both Bowser and Ganon were nearly invulnerable to typical means of harm. Ganon could only be killed by holy weapons like the Master Sword and Silver Arrows. So while Bowser could hurt him, he couldn't exactly kill him. Meanwhile, Bowser could survive almost anything. Almost. In New Super Mario Bros. DS, after falling into some kind of super lava, it's gotta be since he survived molten dips before unscathed, he became Dry Bowser. And after a strong enough impact, not even his own magic could reassemble his body. You can even see the light missing in his eyes. So in this case, for all intents and purposes, Bowser was dead by magic and force. With hmm. Ganon's unlimited pool of magic power, he not only cursed Bowser's body to decay like he did the Deku Tree, oh, but oh he cursed him! Forced to more That's than surpass nice. that That's a oh, nice. oh, like a Deku Tree. This fight, yeah. we're locked down. Oh, the that's a great yeah. scene to show Bowser, to show Ganon winning. That's a great scene. Next yeah. time oh boy. All right, go on. Oh, come on. Please be one of my suggestions. My name's Ratchet. <gasps> oh! What do I yes! Ratchet and Clank! What? Oh, yay! Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh man, I can't wait to see this movie too. Maybe I'll just yeah. Oh, yeah. This movie's gonna Clank. be good. Oh man, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, they have to fight Jack and Daxter. That's who. That's who they gotta fight. The episode we want to do Bowser versus Ganon for a long time. Yeah, and if you want to see more Death Battle, you can click on us right here to go to the Death Battle playlist, and be sure to click on that video over there to take a sponsor exclusive look at the behind the scenes of Dante versus Bayonetta. That is cool. Become a sponsor. Well, good news. 
free trial. Click the link in the description below. You get 30 day free trial. It gets you access to discounts on our merch store, exclusive videos like that one, but also videos early from not only us, but Achievement Hunter, Rooster Teeth, Funhouse, and that means- It's so cool that they partnered up with them now. Early, including yeah. the next one, Ratchet and Clank versus- Who could it be? I don't know, but if- Jack and it, Daxter. To our social media. We'll be announcing it there shortly. That's at ScrewAttack on Twitter and official SA on Facebook. Go, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was so awesome. I was that that was a great that was a great oh, one. Oh yeah. And it seems like I feel yeah. like the digital ones don't get as good as the 3D animation ones, but that one was really but they're great. Still great. Good. Yeah, yeah they're absolutely, good. yeah. And they're definitely shorter than the others, but oh man, you, Ratchet and Clank, you, that's gonna be a wait, great. Who do you think they're gonna burst? I really, really, really hope that Ratchet and Clank gets pinned up against Jack and Daxter. That's like the ultimate other oh, yeah, duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, look at it. They're both PlayStation, and they're both yeah. almost the same yeah. kind of characters. Now, see, if, if that would if that could be the best battle, I would have to go cast my vote to Jack and Daxter. Not only yeah, just never, have I played their games more, they're just, they're definitely much stronger together. I than, never played uh, Jack and Daxter. I only heard of Ratchet and Clank. Have so. you played Ratchet and Clank? Uh, I played, like, once at my cousin's house. Okay. Home, but that's fine. At least you, at least you know what it is. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the move will be awesome. I still, I still see. I still know like what Jackson Dexter is. What mm -hmm. it look like. Yeah, just... uh, so the Ratchet and Clank movie would be really sweet, too. So yeah, thanks so be... much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else we should react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.